And welcome back, folks. I'm your host, Quantum, and welcome back to the Mystery Trackers The Void Let's Play. Slash dicking around, slash doing whatever. Uh, last time we left off, we found some more information about our three missing celebrities. Uh, Kevin Sting, the crazy fucking flop horror novelist. Uh, Mr. Majestic and all his fucking weird illusionist glory. And, uh... Who I can't remember the actress lady's name, Miss Thatcher, who worked in the theater and decided to come here regardless because why not? And of course, it can't be another episode of of a Let's Play without me taking a slug of a Coca Cola. Mm. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So it's been a couple days since I've played, and I am. Oh shit. Okay. I wasn't expecting to be able to move to the other side of the room, but yeah, let's check out here. Let's check this guy. I think it's safe to assume that this bad man was a doctor. Yeah. I would honestly think it would be a very... Uh, it's safe to assume that it's a dead doctor. Alright, hold on. I gotta turn this down. See, I was trying to do this before I started, but I fucking serious jazz music going on. Okay, ready? Hold on, let me write this straight out of my journal. Looks like it's much more serious than I thought. I just found a dead man near the fireplace. By the looks of it, he was a doctor. The evidence suggests it was a suicide. However, the note in his hands causes me to question this. Medical center. Uh, my diagnosis is clear. Selective amnesia, on the background of a psychological scar, I am forgetting the events that hurt my soul, therefore I have drafted to do the list for myself. Hide the collected evidences into the secret place, convince Malleus to let me outside in order to renew our medicine supply, and three, give myself injection of a sedative before the trip, four, get to the nearest town, five, address the police. Uh, and this is a medical center? Dr. M. Azimenth's Pits? Eisench pits I, German maybe I don't know I don't I couldn't tell what kind of fucking shit this is but I don't know who he is I guess just a dead random doctor all right cool neat and then the, the side notes say if I could only get rid of those annoying creatures two have already died I must save her at least and Malleus is not guilty at all great good to know just gonna leave the dead man there huh I guess so. And then this syringe was filled with a lethal dose of morphine. I also discovered a syringe with a lethal dose of morphine next to this man. Doctor wouldn't overdose on morphine accidentally. Good. Maybe... I don't know. We can only assume. The tapestry hides something within the wall. Can I cut it? Hell yeah. The strange mechanisms need some sort of pointers to operate, so I guess we need to find all the clock hands, which, luckily for me, I only need one more. Maybe we'll find it in this hidden object soon. We need a cherry. Um. I read that it's Scoob, and I thought I had to look for Scooby-Doo for a minute. Would've been solid. But I need a Scoop. Grasshopper. Uh. Dice. Uh, I need okay, so I need a scoop, dice, comb, uh, a lollipop, which is right here, an envelope of some nature, a fleur de lis, which every time I see it, which is this thing, uh, a musical symbol, which is the treble clef, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a fan, uh, a lion, oh, there's the letter and the clock hands, so I just need one more, this is where I found my fourth clock hand. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't have much to talk about, well, however, what I can tell you is that I was very excited to see the news of a, a loot crate-like box every month for... Um, Coca-Cola, 
And what it would be is that it was like a Coca Cola. It's called the Coca Cola Insiders Program, and they would send you new Coca Cola flavors, I guess, with each every box. And I was like, oh, that's dope. That's awesome because I love soda. What better way to support my favorite soda company slash soda, whatever company, whatever you want to put it. However, I want to support soda companies. And um, by then buying the box with cool, interesting new Coke flavors that I could probably never taste anywhere else. And lo and behold, I went to the site to check it out, and uh, it was all sold out. And you know what? I was kind of sad, because I kind of wanted it. But if they knew it was going to be popular, they should have put out a little more. But maybe they weren't, maybe they thought it wasn't going to do too well, so who knows. But anyway, that's the life of, of me, I guess. Uh, I need clock hands, and I need a scoop. There's a scoop. Now I just need clock hands. Which, if I'm looking carefully, I should be able to find it, but right now I'm not, so... Already, what? I got my clock next to me, telling me how long? Six minutes? Probably about five for you. Before I... I officially, uh, where I've gotten lost. Man, this is, oh, there's the clock hands. Right on the fucking clock. Durr. I'm sure this puzzle will be interesting. Info. Place the clock hands on the clock faces to light up all the numbers. Rotate, or excuse me, right click the hands to rotate them. Light up all the numbers, okay. Oh, so I have to like, okay, this makes a, a kind of a decent amount of sense. We'll put this here. This is interesting. Well, I definitely know that I'll put that there. Alright, this might be the first really challenging puzzle here. Okay, well I definitely know that this could be like that. And then I'll put maybe you're supposed to make it like kind of symmetrical, not really. Which is a weird thought to have. Uh, and then I'll put this one here. Which is an E. Give me this one. Because then I'll put that here. I can assume that this is right. So I can assume I can hit all of these. Oh, yeah, ready, ready? I got it. Bink. Not really, I lied. Hold on. Now I do. No, I don't. Man, you would think that I'd be able to figure this shit out. Okay, maybe if I just make it like that, right? Let me take out the three. Maybe I can do, it's going to be that. I might have to change the other one based on my needs. <sighs> Man. Nope, still not right. How many pieces do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. So it's probably going to be four and three. It's 
three here. Maybe two here. This one, this awkward one is the most awkward one I have. Let's see, if I put this one like that, if I put this one on here too, you go like this. This one. Yeah, see, this is my problem. I need one of these three. Actually, wait, I could probably do that. There we go, dinger. All right, it took a little bit. Well, I'll probably have cut it to where I am now. Oh, shit. All I know is no one from the outside knew about these secret chambers. Oh, great. I can't open the door to the side. The lock mechanism looks broken. So was I just fucking locked in here? Dope. Let me read the book. The A secret door that led to these chambers closed automatically behind me. I was not pleased to find that the lock me mechanism is broken on this side, meaning that I am trapped in this narrow corridor. Well, let me just do this first. Uh, I need an accordion. Which is definitely not an accordion. Uh, a camera, a glass cutter, a, a backpack, two clocks, uno, dos, uh, two keys, one, and I'll find the other one, probably two, uh, dynamite. Also, necessarily, why is a random roll stick of dynamite inside a fucking house? Maybe that's not my question to answer, but what I can tell you is that it's definitely not normal in any shape, size, fucking crazy attitude. Just not. It doesn't work. It's not. It, nope. Doesn't do shit for me. Playing card. Uh, baseball. Uh, black Rose, which I could have sworn I was just looking at, which is right here. Uh, a frame and one more key. The key to solving this hidden object puzzle is to find the other key, which is right here. Bam! Great, now I got a glass cutter. The aquarium is too dark to search. There must be a way to switch on the light in the light tank. A light bulb is missing. I'll have to find it to get this thing working. And I definitely don't have a light bulb, so I guess I'll put that on the list of to-do finding objects. Maybe if I use the glass on there, no? I need a glass cutter on the... Yes, not. Oh, the book on the ground. Diversity of fish. I guess I'll take that. Can I move to the other side of the room? No. On the floor, I found this curious-looking fish book with a diagram inside. I'm holding on to it. Something tells me I'll need it. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, yeah, I can't move around. What the fuck is this? Uh-oh, this Frankensteinish looking creature is the guard. I guess I won't let me pass. It's a guard dog. He's not just gonna let me pass. Yeah, I... I don't know. I'd be kind of freaked the fuck out. Ah, the sea creatures in the correct positions. Hey, look at that. Look at all... Look at all these fantastic fucking... Sea, sea creatures. Hey, look, there's a fish. From the big fish games. I didn't know there was a diversity of fish. Hold on, let me take a quick picture on my phone and use it to guide me in this crazy ass puzzle. So, dolphin is like here ish. Uh, anglerfish is all the way at the bottom. Normal fish is like right above it. Uh, and skyfish is all the way up. Awesome. Thanks, fish diagram. I'm surprised that I would have taken the fish image before I checked this out. But I guess what I got is, is easy enough. Alright, let's... Don't you do anything fucking silly, crazy-ass motherfucking golem-looking thing. Alright, well, before I put this down, let me read it. 
I've been observing Gargantua. I still can't believe he was grown from a common amphibian into almost a sentient being. With the help of alchemy, he's is rather naive and just a tad territorial. Memo, Gargantua is afraid of high-pitched sounds, a.k.a. whistling. Doc. Good to know. Let me put this down. Place each bulb in the correct socket. Pay attention to the wattage and the numbers on the panel. Click two white bulbs to swap them until each bulb is in the correct socket. Pay attention to the bulb and the wattages and the numbers on the panel. Okay, so it's kind of like a math puzzle. Uh, well, I can definitely know that this switches here. That's 100. Uh, 80. 100. 160 is 250. Is that 250? Or is that 260? I think that's 260. And then 100 and 220, right? Well, unless I'm thinking of something weird. 40. Oh, I fucked this up. 40 and 60 is 100. 180 is definitely not 100. Oh, it's just going to be fucking weird. Okay. Um, okay, well, this is 220, right? And this is 100. Unless this switches with this. No? Uh, 100. Ah, okay. So 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Definitely not what I'm looking for. Uh, to do the math quickly here, because, like, once again, I have my whiteboard next to me. Uh, 60 and 80, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, that's 120, definitely not what I need, mm. okay, well, I know that's right, this has to be either 40 or 60, Apparently is maybe if I take No? Oh, this is fucking weird. <laughs> this is not a simple puzzle. Or it's not simple enough for me. Or maybe it's just because I'm retarded. Either way. Big yikes. Um Okay, I guess a hundred goes here. Maybe if I switch 120, okay, that's 120, plus another 120 is about 140, so it's definitely not enough for me, so maybe if I switch, there we go, dinger! Alright, interesting puzzle, I can tell you that much. And we've lit up the, uh this thing. Uh, map piece. Nippers. Fish hook. Umbrella. Uh, I need a fishing net. Bink. Sea turtle. One. Two. I don't know what I'm doing with these sea turtles. Guess I'm taking them along for the journey. And three. A fishing rod, which is this thing, a Jolly Roger, which is that, a barometer, which is that thing, a, a ring, oh, the, the tube doesn't count as a ring, I guess not, can't school him with that one, three seahorses, uh, one, two, and Uno Mas, which is right here. Now I just need nippers. Which I'm not sure what it's referring to. And luckily for me, I don't have a time uh, countdown. Alright, hold on. What the fuck? Once again, to my trusty phone. Nippers. Oh, these fucking things. Alright, yeah. 
That would have made sense. Great work, detective. But you've successfully located a hidden item. Perhaps it'll come in handy. Damn right. I don't know what this wing's gonna do for me, but... Well... A Caudius ring and an emerald ring. Maybe it has some use. The painting is protected by thick glass shattering is not a viable option. Oh, I guess I have to find the image that... There we go. Whistle and a book. Get out of here! Get out of here! No one wants you here. Go away. Get out of here. You crazy coot. Uh, alright, well, I guess we'll go after it. See, let's go up. The creature ran through the mansion wall, creating a gateway to the void's grounds. The iron hook hangs securely from the wall. Can't do much here, but move down the hall. Address the room in the void. The golden statue on the sofa looks very familiar and realistic. Knock, knock. The likeness of the magician Gerald Springs sounds hollow. Is that his voice? Because I think he's been turned to a statue, young detective. Uh, I need three rings, Uno, and Deus. And I can only imagine that doing this thing will give me the third ring. Of course, do you see the rings right there? Find all the die. Uh, bow tie. Vampire thief. Box of matches. Uh, it's not a glove, but it is a hand. Here's a glove. Uh, a rose, which is in the top hat. Key. A ring. Playing cards, you know. Dose. And trace. A, a bug. Bow. The magic eight ball. Uh, magician's wand. Which right here. Expectro Patronum. Biatch. Hmm. Let me read the journal entry before we continue. This statue bears a striking resemblance to Gerald Springs. Does somebody worship the illusionist as if he were an idol? I knock on the creepy statue to find it's hollow and a couple of cracks with a tool and I'll expose its secrets. Watched him crack it open and it's actually the body of, of our illusionist and we've just committed murder. Or excuse me, manslaughter because we didn't know. The case is a false bottom. I have to figure it out to open it. Switch to open. Oh. Okay, this kind of makes sense. Uh, I have to move this here, down here. Oh, no! Oh, no! But I had the right track, I think. Uh, move that here. Move that here. Oh, I have no more moves. Damn. This one here. This one here. That here. Yeah, I, I, I done goofed. Oh, this is difficult. This is very much difficult. Uh... Can't do that. You have to do this, right? Whew! God, these puzzles are taking a fucking... Put that one up. Put that one down. Put this one down. Right? Yeah? Put that down. This one up here. Here. That down, this down, bam. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Uh, notebook. A, a rope ladder. Interesting. And I guess we'll move down to the, uh, the grounds. And down we go. I bottom out the mansion porch, a headlay the woods in the neglected park. This is a park?
Okay, before we go do that, let's open this fucking rad dad up. Shell, hairbrush, six coins, two, uh, I don't know what the fuck that was, three, um, four, whatever this is, that's another coin. Okay, hold, before I continue, I didn't think that there's a fucking mini amusement park in the back of this guy's fucking mansion, but I get, you know what, not gonna, not gonna complain, just more adventure for the quantum detective, and maybe, just maybe, he can enjoy his holiday, because everybody loves some grand adventure, you know? I need one more, I need a f another feather, and another magnifying glass, and another unicorn, or just a unicorn, weirdly enough. The unicorn might be the hardest one to find, because I have yet to see anything re resembling a fucking unicorn, but that's because I haven't fucking seen it yet, there's another coin. Uh, a feather, a magnifying glass, and a unicorn. Um, magnifying glass. Another feather. There's a unicorn. And a feather. Oh, where, oh, where? Oh, where is this feather? In this sweater weather. Where could it be? My little, little feather. Little songs are, are kicking up. Can't be, of course it's there. Hey, we got keys. Let's check out the void world. Welcome to void world. Cool. I descended the rope ladder and found the monster broke the porch with his fall. However, his tracks in the cage. He's unharmed and headed for the amusement park. I'm glad he's safe. Gargantua may be dangerous, but he didn't mean any harm. Yeah, cool. Hold on. Was there any mention of a fucking amusement park in, like, the first entry? Uh, no. This talks about the trackers. Intention. No void mansions of public attention. Uh, empty directive agency against the void. Yeah, there's no mention of a fucking amusement park, so I guess this is out of the ordinary. The monster's heading for the garden. Is he running away or leading me somewhere? I Who the fuck knows? Malleus lived to see his name in lights. It would kill him again to see the park like this. Mail. A mailbox for secret correspondence. No wonder it was locked with a key. Here's the key. Whatever that is. Another disc. Hold on, before I put the disc in for this thing, let me check this out. Alright, hold on. The mailbox near the gates, I found a defiled amusement with a note from another than Mr. Springs. Uh. Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright, here. Here's what I'll do. I'll read this, and then I'll read the words underneath it, and then I'll read... The, like the changes afterward. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Void's World, the amusement park where everything is real. Meet trolls and other characters from storybooks. See fantastic flora in a fairy world. Wood, fairy wood. This park is a place where myths come alive. And then uh, the word amusement is is crossed off and horror is put over it. Well, welcome to Void's, except. The change is Sirius's world, monsters from storybooks, and terror come alive. And then the the note that Sirius says, "Dear Mr. Void, I have talked with your brother Sirius Void today. I didn't like the sound of it one bit. Your brother wants to warp our magical amusement park. If he keeps interfering with our business, Void's world will turn into a park of horrors. Take this as a fair warning that your ingenious idea is in serious danger. Sincerely, the unamused Gerald Springs. P.S. See the attached brochure of evidence of serious ma." <laughs> Malignant plans. 
hold on, everybody. Stop the fucking... Hold the phone. Call the presses. Call the entire news worldwide organizations. <laughs> Some guy took, like, a fucking brochure ad and crossed out things that he didn't deem fit and put scary thoughts over it. <laughs> He's evil. I guess maybe Sirius Void is our, our antagonist, but for now... He's causing trouble to, to Mr. Springs and this world. Well, I have to. I can open these fucking things, so I guess we'll solve this. Another lock and key puzzle. Info. Rotate the rings to match up the constellations. Yeah, well. Here we go. That matches like that. Oh, I have to match it to the fucking center one. Okay, that would make a lot more sense. I was like, why am I just spinning this randomly? Um, all oh, the noise it makes is annoying, too. Fuck, dude. Okay, that matches, and then... Okay, that one's good. Just kidding. It's this one that's really fucked up, I guess, huh? There we go, that's good. This is a boat. That's good, and then I guess I'll get the wrap one around here. Come on. Turn the way I want you to. Bink, and we're in. To the park. Oh, there's more. Fuck's sake, come on. It's harder than I expected. A lock within a lock. I must solve this lock for whatever. Assemble the yellow with hexagonus around the left gear and all the green ones on the right. Click the hexagons to change their places. What? Hold on. I'm not following here. Is it... I, I guess? Yeah? Did I have it the right the first time? Oh, wait, hold on. Left gear is all green, and the ones in the right gear are vice versa. Yeah, the left is... Oh, shit. How could I have fucked it up so badly? We're in! Solve ten puzzles? Puzzle Cracksman's! Ten puzzles were solved without the use of hints. And into the void's world we go. Beyond the gates is this fairy garden protected by a glass dome. Well, folks, uh, actually, let me read this journal entry. Uh... Oh, all right, I guess. Weird, but neat. Okay, uh, expose its secrets. Beyond the park gate lies a fairy garden covered by a huge glass dome. I have never seen anything of this kind before. The creature seemed to head deep into the garden. Is he scared of me or is trying to lead me somewhere? I admit the trolls starting to grow on me. Hmm. I might even say he's cute. That's fucking retarded quantum. Stop talking. Anyway, first I have to cross the brook of oddly fluorescent water. I don't dare wade through it. It could be dangerous chemicals. There's a mini drawbridge, but its chain is broke, broken. I, if I can find a few links, I'm sure I can fix it. And then we read this one. No, we didn't. I read the first part. I came upon a strange gate, the amusement park entrance. Funny thing is, it's not visible from the road because of the mansion's girth. It seems Void managed to plaster his image on everywhere. On everything. Though his portrait is in a sorry shape, the monster disappeared behind the gates, and they closed with a bang. I must unlock them ASAP. My sixth sense is tingling. This Frankenstein may lead me to some answers I seek. Great. I examined the porch and park entrance. No surprise that Malleus secured the place with a two-part lock. Luckily, Mystery Tracker's boot camp prepared me for some obstacles. <laughs> Good for me. I went to the training boot camp. I know what's up. 
now that I've gotten the gates open, I have to track down the troll. The thing ran pretty fast, even though I think he wants me to follow, so Mr. Void, let's see what you're hiding up in your world. And then, there's fucking 14, I guess. I guess it's just cool to have all the fucking pieces scattered. But fuck it, whatever. We're doing it live. However, I will save this part for the next episode. So, next time when we sit down to play Mystery Trackers The Void, we're going to explore the abandoned weird-ass amusement park that apparently wasn't mentioned until now. So, until then, I'm your host Quantum, and I'll check you all on the flip side.